I'm going to show you how you can disable CPU core parking in Windows 11. So I'm currently in the resource monitor application and on the right hand side I can see that this machine has six CPU cores and four of them are currently in a parked state. That means Windows has temporarily disabled them as they are not in use and as soon as we start opening up applications we can see that they go from a parked state, unparked, the application is then opened and then they go back into a parked state when they are no longer in use. Now this is fine for most applications, however sometimes if you need quick burst compute, the couple of milliseconds this takes to unpark the core can negatively impact the performance of the application. So to disable this parking, you can go to the registry editor and then under H key local machine, system and then current control set, you can right click and find and then paste in this string, which I'll put in the video description, so you can just copy and paste it, and then press Find Next. This should take you to the current control set, control, power, and then power settings, and then you should have these attributes. Under value max, you can just double click it, and type in zero, and then press OK. And what this does, this, this sets the minimum amount of cores that we want in a parked state, so we want zero cores or zero percent of cores in a park state. So that value max is now zero. And now as soon as we restart our computer, these CPU cores will no longer go into a parked state. So if I just restart and then sign back in, and then if I open the resource monitor again, and now we can see that all six of our CPU cores are active and no longer in a parked state. So as soon as any application requests a CPU core, the process can be executed without having to wait for the core to be unparked.